Hey kid, last Thanksgiving we read The Great Turkey Race. But this Thanksgiving we're reading The Amazing Turkey Rescue. That's right, from race to rescue. Oh, I've seen you found my script. Your, your script, Olivia the Ostrich? Yes, my movie script. <laughs> well, I'm confused. This is a book that we're about to read. Oh. Forgive me, I can share the news. Oh, please do tell. Well, I just purchased the book rights to the amazing Turkey Rescue to make it into my next feature film in which I shall star in this action adventure thriller. Wow, one, had no idea. Two, action adventure? I thought you purely did Shakespearean theater, Olivia the Ostrich. Oh, well, one must branch out, and I'm quite versatile, you know. I know. Uh, however, there is a certain limit to your versatility. How do you mean, Storyteller? Well, okay, how do I put this? Y you're an ostrich. Mm -hmm, of course. Uh, but this is a turkey rescue. Oh, <laughs> silly Storyteller. You misunderstand. I'm not going to be rescued. I shall be the rescuer. Oh, she's going to be the superhero. <laughs> Blew my mind. That's what you call an adaptation. She takes the story and then she tweaks it, adapts it, slightly changes it around so that now the rescuer can be an ostrich. But let's see what the original source material is so we can compare and then later on we'll talk about ooh, what was better, the movie or the, the book. And of course, we'll have to say the movie because it's Olivia the Ostrich, but you know, generally books tend to be better. Let's see. The Amazing Turkey Rescue, because let me tell you, I have high expectations for this because The Great Turkey Race, amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, you must. So here we go. Here we go. Already there's, oh. There's shenanigans happening on the page already, and we haven't even begun. It had been a great year for Ollie, Cassie, and Wing. They'd escaped from becoming Thanksgiving dinner on the farm and were enjoying life on the loose. Look at that, they're under the sea. And uh, no limits, it's Thanksgiving turkey life with no limits, hashtag YOLO. During the winter, they skied on Mount Baldy. Woo! In the spring, they played baseball with the turkey legs. Boom! You're out! When summer arrived, they hung three in Hawaii. That's right, dude, catch the wave. Such exciting times. Now, it was autumn again. Just a few days before Thanksgiving. <gasps> Thanksgiving! Da, da, da! I mean, it's good for us, not so good for the turkeys. So, while the turkeys were busy jumping into a pile of leaves, a crow ah, ah, dropped a note on Cassie's hat. Doing. Read this! She squawked as she flew away. Oh no! Wing shouted. It's the sheriff. He must have heard that we escaped, and now he's coming to throw us in jail. What does it say? Ollie asked. It's not from the sheriff. It's from Pete the Chicken, Cassie said as she read the note. Let's read it. Dear Ollie, Cassie, and Wing, help. There's a fox prowling around the chicken coop. <gasps> not a fox. You were smart enough to escape once, and now we really need you. Your pal, Pete the Chicken. Wait a minute, Wing yelled. What if Farmer Joe catches us? Remember last Thanksgiving? I don't want to get eaten. See here, I'm never going back. I can't go back. I can't go back. Wing makes a good point, Ollie said, nodding like so. Cassie jumped up and down. Don't you understand? She said our friends are in danger. We've got to do something. Oh, you're right. Let's go. So they skipped and they ran and they gobbled and finally they arrived at the wooden fence surrounding the farm. Hey, there's Pete the chicken, Ollie called out. Psst, psst, Pete. Pete, 
raced over. You sure got here fast. Well, well. Now, put on these so Farmer Joe won't spot you, he said. We'll meet you behind the chicken coop in a few minutes, Cassie added. Now, when Pete left, Ollie jumped on top of Cassie, who jumped on top of Wing. What is happening right now? After a few clumsy attempts, they put on Farmer Joe's clothing, and Wing wobbled over to the farm's entrance. Ah, yes, the old turkey atop turkey atop turkey trip to imitate a human disguise. Classic. Ha Howdy, a friendly voice called out. E you must be one of the new workers. Ollie said nothing. My name is Hank, the farmhand said. What's yours? Again, silence. Say something, whispered Cassie. Uh, <clears throat> gobble. Ollie finally said. Gabby? Hank said. Huh, for someone named Gabby, you sure don't talk too much. What kind of work you do? Uh, gobble. Uh, you cobble? Oh, well, you're a cobbler. Well, we don't have many shoes that need fixing around here, but there must be some other kind of work you can do. I'll tell Farmer Kate you're here. That Hank is such a nice guy, but he might get them in trouble. We'll see. As soon as Hank left, the three turkeys shed Farmer Joe's clothing and raced to the back of the chicken coop. There, waiting for them was their friend, Pete the Chicken. The fox is about to pounce, Pete warned. You've got to move fast. I've got it, yelled Cassie. Here's the plan. She whispered her idea to Ollie and Wing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Just as the fox was about to enter the chicken coop, <gasps> There he is with his tongue all hanging out, looking all hungry like he's going to, you know, have a chicken dinner. Ollie called out, wait, don't take another step. The fox stopped and turned around. Why not? He asked. Ooh, attitude. Look at his color, Cassie said. It's like a beautiful sunset. And those strong muscles, Wing added, he'd be perfect. Perfect for what? The fox angrily asked, who are you anyway? Well, we're Mick, Mackie, and Moe, the most famous Hollywood producers, Cassie replied. Meanwhile, the chickens are all like, what? You might be perfect to star in our next movie. It's called The Mighty Fox. Who? Oh, do you, do you really? You really think I could be a movie star? The fox asked, suddenly getting super friendly. The turkeys huddled together. Well, we're not sure. Let's see your teeth. The fox opened his jaws wide. Oh, they're uh, pretty sharp. Now, let's check out his coordination, Ollie announced. How fast can you spin? The fox twirled round and round and round and round until he began to stagger. Do you see what's happening? Getting a little dizzy, a little googly eyed. Everyone's watching. They're catching on to the plan. Even the bunnies come out and the goat. And that thing. Yep, everybody's out watching. Well, you know, one more thing, Wang said. Let's see how angry you can get. Cassie and Ollie found a piece of rope. What? It's happening right now. A rope and tied up the fox. He snarled, grunted, and howled. Oh, is, 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 is that angry enough? Yep, yeah, that's pretty angry, Cassie said. And now you're going to be very angry. Why? asked the fox. Because you're trapped. <gasps> da, da, da. <laughs> Bad guy has been foiled. The fox screamed so loudly that everyone on the farm heard. Hey, exclaimed Farmer Kate. The turkeys who escaped last year are back. And look, said Farmer Joe, they saved the chickens from a fox. They're heroes. Hooray for the turkeys, Farmer Kate and Farmer Joe cried. You're welcome to live on the farm as long as you like. What? I did not see this coming. As a special reward, the three turkeys were invited to join Farmer Joe and Farmer Kate's Thanksgiving feast, where they all ate pizza! Woo! Okay now, I totally see how they would eat pizza now because, you know, it would be inappropriate to have turkey, 
because like the turkeys are the heroes now. I remember last time, or maybe you don't remember, but last time in the great turkey race, well, Farmer Kate and Farmer Joe ended up without turkeys because they escaped. I'm just trying to think here for a minute. Obviously, uh, Olivia the ostrich has to adapt the story. So I'm just wondering who she intends to play in this role because I mean she said she wasn't going to be a turkey. Oh, are you debating what I'm going to be? Well, actually I was. I don't know how you're going to rescue because um, the, the turkeys were the rescuers here, Olivia. Well, that's simple really. I'm going to be the smart, sassy guru on a mountaintop that they visit as they try to debate how to get into the coop and how to evade the farmers. Really? Tell me more. Well, and then, oh, well, I can't give away the whole script. Look at you. You've got me talking about the script and I uh, confidentially added it blah, blah, blah. Confidentiality. <laughs> agreements and oh see I was practicing my gobble that was really impressive thank you but yes I can't tell you any more or oh, the lawyers you know the lawyers yes oh the lawyers uh Olivia are you ready to run lines oh yes Green Bear Green Bear here has agreed to help me run lines for the amazing turkey rescue yeah I've always wanted to play a turkey so this is gonna be fun let's go all right, well, work beckons. I bid you all a fair adieu. And I shall, of course, see you on the big screen. Of course we will. We'll always see her on the big screen and the small screen. KidTimeStory.com, that's where we hang out. And all our Thanksgiving stories, uh, I'm going to put them on a playlist down below. But more specifically, I'm going to put the link to this one in case you didn't see the first one. Because, well, you'll see it out of order then if you didn't see the other one. But it doesn't matter. It's like catching up on a big famous series backwards. Have you ever watched Harry Potter backwards? He gets younger. It's really an interesting effect. Anyway, kid, thankful for you. Thankful for pizza. Thankful for turkeys. <laughs> Thankful for clever ruses that stop foxes from eating the chickens. And see you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we're all pretty clever around here. Mm -hmm.